Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 100 of MC Eternal. I'm excited, it's episode 100, and we still have so much more to do. Uh, there's a lot in this pack, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so between episodes here, I've been uh, just kind of casually waiting, slash tick accelerating, uh, some of the machines that are making my Borax, because I'm mostly at this point just testing to make sure that everything backstuffs the way it's supposed to, and all these machines should, in theory, uh, turn off. So as we can see, we've got eight stacks of calcium sulfate. We've got eight stacks of borax, 512 each. And that means that most of our machines have, have, have stopped running. So the fluid enricher with the crushed fluid ain't running. This thing ain't running. Uh, this guy ain't running. These are the guys making calcium sulfate, these three. Uh, and these six machines are all responsible for uh, making the borax. So the borax solution should start backstopping now and we can help that out a little bit, right? So we'll start by tick accelerating each one of these guys just a little bit, just to validate and confirm that, you know, this thing's gonna back stuff in fluids, right? It means it's, it's full on the, the fluids there. Uh, and then this guy's gonna start filling up the borax solution. Now, because we set it to not void the important fluid, right? Like the fluid we don't care about is auto voiding, but the borax solution is not voiding at all, even when it's full. So that means uh, we will not have this machine running anymore, and that's pretty cool. Very excited uh, to, to kind of see all the machines stop running, because fairness, these things cost a lot of RF a tick. Also, in fairness, we have a lot of RF stored in that giant battery upstairs, so I ain't, I ain't sweating it, right? But, uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Just want to see the Borax solution kind of fill up here, right? So this guy fills now as intended. Always when you're building automations, plan for a couple different things. One of them is for what to do if things go wrong, right? That's definitely a, a good plan to have. Number two, plan for it to stop when you don't need any more, right? It's important to have all your machines stop running when you don't need them anymore because A, that saves on, uh, you know, just, just RF and your own resources. And also if you're playing on a server, it makes sure that you're not causing any lag. Now these machines running aren't gonna cause a lot of lag on a server, but if you didn't have proper controls around this, you might you might wind up causing like item spillage or other things depending on what, you know, systems you're using. So long story short, always do your best to, to plan for automation. But as you can see, this whole room has stopped. Now these three will keep running because the way, uh, because the way it produces the different dusts we kind of need them to run all the time. Uh, if we wanted to, we could, you know, check for something. Like, we, we could automate a way to auto-turn those off, but it's really not that necessary, right? Um, yeah, not, not super necessary. Yeah, there is zero sulfur in there. That's interesting. How am I doing on sulfur? Not, not terrible. That's cool. Is that the same? It's the thermal foundation sulfur. Sweet. So I guess what's happening... Yeah, why are you so empty, Sulfur? I don't know. It's cool, though. I ain't complaining. Uh, you know why? Because because uh, all the Sulfur being produced is probably going into this drawer uh, and being voided. So that actually works out just fine for me. I'm 100% I'm okay with that being that way. Nice. So should we... Uh, let's see how good a job we did with this room by making it look halfway decent. Right? That That sounds like a plan to me. So you're chilling there. I wonder if I could I could snake you up somewhere else. Just so we didn't have to, you know what I probably can? Where can I run you? It'll be a little dire wire-y, but I'm okay with that. What are you, an insert on blue? Insert on blue. So let's do you insert on blue. I did a half decent job of keeping things looking nice, I would say. That connects there, which means we can remove this. So if I just snag one of these, he should have no problem. And then he's full. Cool. And Borax, all the machines are running again for a moment to, to refill that amount. And that's pretty neat. And I'm just going to trash this Borax because we have, at this stage, basically an infinite amount of Borax, right? I'm okay with voiding a little bit to demonstrate how cool that is. All right, so now we need a couple more of these kinds of laboratory blocks. And that looks nice. 
not too shabby. All right, the only other thing left is to um, run these dudes under the floorboards, right? So that's going to require a few more of these. And we can now choose this guy. Man, that looks pretty nice, huh? I am not at all disappointed in the uh, in the looks of this room. Yeah, you technically should. Uh, let's let's move you here, and then this guy can be there, and then you can go there. All right. Not a bad looking room, honestly. And there's more expansion that we can put over here as needed, right? But at this point, we've got fully automated borax, fully automated calcium sulfate and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Now let's head out to our nuclear craft area and see how things are doing after I take a quick nap. So here's a bit of good news, guys. Um, I am not having any problems with these agrocraft crop automations anymore. I don't know what the issue was. Um, but it seems to not be happening anymore. So all that weirdness that I described a couple episodes back where AgroCraft crop automation was just being weird and not working correctly, I'm thinking like removing all these cards from the variable store and just putting them back in must have reset something. That's the only explanation I can come up with because I've been kind of monitoring because I need more lead, by the way. I went, I went to craft something and I didn't have enough lead, so like lead is now on my list of don't have enoughs, right? So gonna gonna get lead seeds planted out there so we can start automating that. I'm just kind of waiting until I run out of resource to recognize that I need more of that resource and then go from there. Uh, so yeah, no, like this thing is working perfectly. Uh, it's it's not breaking crops that it shouldn't. It's not doing anything wrong. I, I didn't have to rebuild it all, which I'm really happy about because to be honest with you, I built this so far back, uh, I kind of forget how it works. <laughs> I'm sure I could I'm sure I could do it again from scratch. I just have to like spend a couple hours like working through it again and i would get there right it's 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 one of those things where like you set up something and then you forget how it's working because it just works and it's been good so yeah that's that's a good time so oddly enough the lead seeds are not doing as great a job mutating as they usually do it's taken them a while to level up here but eh, we'll see i'll come back in a minute when this is 10 10 10 uh and and get the resources i need to move on to the next step which is i want to get leu 235 going so let's go or 233 all right, let's pop out to the nuclear craft area and see how it's going. One thing I want to make sure to investigate is how's the radiation doing out here? You know, not great. I forgot, this thing actually does show you. You know what? Did I accidentally... I may have, but I've done a good job of, like, containing all these guys mostly within a chunk. Mostly. I mean, they're also... A little bit out in this chunk right so they're not perfectly chunk aligned but like i kind of built this on a chunk border and if i slid this over one he'd all be self-contained in a chunk and if i slid them in a little bit i wonder if i could build this all self-contained within a chunk i'm pretty sure uh all that really matters for the radiation is the fission controller itself i'm pretty sure uh i'm not positive but i'm pretty sure and we've got a decent amount of radiation going on in this chunk, right? Like, we are building up radiation on our character pretty heavily. Am I going to stop that from happening? Mm, yes. Am I going to stop it yet? Mm, not yet. I don't think. I don't think we're going to stop it just yet. Uh, so what I want to do... Can I rotate you? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, that looks good, right? So let's, like... Let's, let's kind of line this up so that he's relatively within the chunk. I feel like if I moved these guys all self-contained within the chunk, that would kind of be cool. I'm wondering if I could do that. Just, just for the... Yeah, I think I should. So let's do something for a minute. Let's... You guys are set up like that, huh? Okay. I feel like containing it all within the chunk would be a really cool idea. So what if we took you out of here and put you away? And what if we took you out of here and put you away, right? And we will let uh, 
this guy burn up his existing fuel, right? So what's the process time on this thing again? I forget, whatever. Not important. He's almost done is what matters, right? So I won't even bother to accelerate him. Because by the time I get a ticket, it'll, it'll be done already. doesn't really matter. So depleted and depleted. That's cool. So let's um, position these guys a little bit better. So remember, our, our building now actually contains all the things. So let's rotate twice. And that'll have um, that guy in the back now. Perfect. Yeah, look at, look at the radiation in this chunk. It is, it is not insignificant by any stretch. I should have the inventory space to do this. That looks good, right? And then what if we uh, relocated him a little bit? So what I'm thinking we might want to do, I did bring some factory blocks with me. Let's place him such that he's contained within that chunk. So is this good? That looks perfect, right? That looks perfect. All we got to do is that. How's that feel? I like that a lot. That looks pretty good. Right? Now he's completely self-contained within the chunk. And we should have um, the ability to put the fission controller here. And that looks cool, right? Yeah. Completely contained within the chunk. Perfectly, perfectly structured. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, how's our radiation doing? Dyer's taking a little bit of radiation. Look at that. Wow. 40 millirads per tick, and I'm at 326. So we've radiated this chunk pretty good if we're, if we're paying attention, right? Like, absolutely. Absolutely radiated this stuff pretty good. Okay. So now let's get you placed correctly. Is that where I want you? You're looking pretty good to me. That looks lined up nicely. Now you are overlapping that a little bit, so let's move you over one. And yeah, that looks perfect, right? Right on the corner of the chunk like that. Beautiful. So now we can do this dude back here. We can do the fission controller here. Speaking of fission controllers, did I make two more of those? Um, I didn't. Let me make one more because I'm making one more reactor right now for sure. And that looks cool. All right. I'm feeling good about this. How's that look? Pretty good? I think so. Is that a natural? Oh, that's the dungeon wall thing. Okay. I was like, why does that look like a staircase? I'm guessing that's the dungeon wall thing. All right, that's cool. All right, so you guys are now here. That's your fission controller. Casing incomplete, no fuel cells? What? That can't be true. Can it? It can't be true. No fuel, cells zero, RF a tick zero. Did I miss, you know what I probably did? Hang on, let's undo copy paste gadget for a minute. Yeah, it's these, these blocks right here were in the way. That'll, that'll do it. That's about where we wanna place it, yes? This is why we check. Right? Now you're chunk aligned properly. You're happy? Good. 
cells 63. That makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, cool. So you're containing, I'm thinking what we want to do is probably move this guy. So let's set you here. Let's pick this up. You're going to go here with, oh, you already still have that programmed? That's kind of cool. Did not know that would be the case. Let's get our cables here. Easy peasy, right? So then up uh, will be insert on green, extract on brown, and down will be insert on brown, extract on green, and that's a win. Cool? Okay. Let's give you a redstone signal to get you running again. What are you, little bug? A beetle from Mystical World. How come I haven't seen that before? What is up with that? How is that a thing I've never seen? Now, it's okay if that's in a different chunk, right? Because we're, we're, we're mostly talking about the radiation, right, being in a different chunk. Uh, so I want, I want to try and contain the radiation as cleanly and accurately as I can, right? So our plan here, obviously, is... Let's just make sure the removal thing is working. Depleted went in. Looking good to me. Cool. All right, so over here, we're going to do something similar. Just move this dude. All oh, right, don't forget, you should have the crafting card in you. Now you're allowed to craft LEU-235 for me. Beautiful. And you, sir, are going to come over here. And you're going to go there. And you're gonna get a crafting card and you can sit there and your up will be insert extract brown and your down will be insert extract green and that looks good to me and you should now create more tbu fuel and that's perfect sweet Turn you on, tick accelerate for the initial just to make sure that you're actually doing what you're supposed to do. Let's not forget power. Looking pretty good. I'm liking it. And depleted goes in and gets recycled. Perfect. Now, uh, radiation. I am taking a lot of radiation here. 37 MRADs per tick. Let's place our next reactor and get this built and then we will look into uh, what we can do, now doesn't sleeping reduce radiation or is that a different kind of sleeping? That might be a different, I think that's, that's what is that, advanced rocketry's radiation mechanic that gets reduced when you sleep? Right, so I've got weakness in mining fatigue, by the way, because of the radiation, right? Um, I'm kinda, kinda curious what kind of trouble we're gonna get into from all this, but this is why we experiment. I'm just kind of waiting and seeing, waiting and seeing how this goes. So you, let's rotate, boop, boop. Uh, and how's that? Is that self-contained chunk? It is pretty much. That's, that's the perfect building position to keep this all contained within a chunk like we want. So to do that, what we wanna have is that and we know it's good if we can put our fission controller here and our reactor port here and you report happy and healthy 63 fuel nice all right good times so you're ready to be built you can be a single block now good so what I could do and what I feel like I should do and I think I'm going to do is actually put you over here and that would be easier right yeah I like that okay yeah let's do that 
All right, so you're going to get LEU 233. So we're going to want another interface. Cool. And we're going to want another crafting card. I always have to remember that when you search for interface, it shows you crafting cards because that's a thing that I frequently forget. Now we do have to go home to teach this guy how to do 233 fuel, right? So what we want is LEU 233 in the auto crafting mechanic so that you know how to make LEU 233. Crafts one LEU 233 fuel, perfect. Let's get 10 of those. and pop over to here. See now the radiation gain that we're getting is really low, right? So we're not, so there's there's two numbers here, right? For those of you who may not have seen nuclear craft radiation effects before. Um, so the, the number on the left in, in orange right now on the left, 676 rads, that's how much radiation my player has absorbed. Um, so that's bad, right? My player is absorbing a lot of radiation. Uh, and has absorbed a lot of radiation. The number on the right, the MRADs per tick, that's how much radiation I'm absorbing over time. So the left is how much I've absorbed and how, you know, how much radiation I have right now. And the number on the right is how much that's increasing. There's natural radiation everywhere in the world. Um, look at this, weakness two, mining fatigue, hunger. Uh, it's getting bad, it's definitely getting bad. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna wanna hang out in this radiation area for that long. Uh, we don't we don't want to we don't want to get much higher than we already have bad things wow yeah look I'm at 71 percent the numbers get from like we're bad to worse as you uh, as you hang out in an area with radiation right so like I'm absorbing radiation if I so see how my radiation keeps going up I'm at 723 I'm at 724 right so now what I can do if I teleport home we'll see that I'm not really absorbing radiation anymore I'm now absorbing 84 urads per tick which is way 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 less than the 44 m rads Pico rads or micro rads or all those little numbers that I don't really know the difference about, right? But long story short, I'm no longer absorbing more radiation. Uh, I mean, I am, but at an extremely slow rate, like to the point where it's you've never noticed it because it's so small. Um, so that's fun, right? Uh, now we could reduce the amount of radiation we're absorbing by creating nuclear craft plating and inserting it into our armor here, right? So there's light radiation shielding, which reduces 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and then this one's 0 0.1 medium shielding, and finally there's heavy shielding, which reduces it by one rad. So one rad per tick reduction in uh, absorption, right? So having no radiation shielding on my player right now, I am clearly absorbing a lot of radiation, which is bad, as it were, right? Um, so let's get that 233 and see what that does. So having 233 in my inventory is probably not ideal. Let's put you there. Let's put our cabling here. Okay, that should get that guy online. Let's do this. And we will do up is insert extract always active and down, right? Brown and green, perfect. So that's going good. We'll turn you on. And what we should see, 43 MRADs per tick, is going up now. So the radiation uh, changes in this chunk are increasing because we have another reactor uh, running right now. So that's you know what we need to watch out for. Now let's get ourselves a flux adding energy to the network. That is cool. And that'll craft. And the radiation kind of balances around with adjacent chunks. So what you'll find, let me put this on the generators network, is even though there's no real radioactive stuff going on in this chunk, there's still some radiation here, 28 MRADs, right? Because it's spread from here, which is going up because we added another reactor processing more uranium, right? So the, the radiation spreads around the chunks. That's a thing to note there, right? And we're at 80% radiation, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad, I should fix, I should, oh yeah, now we're taking damage, right? Weakness, mining fatigue, poison. Uh, bad times all around. Let's have some rat away. And that reduces the radiation in my character's body, right? So now that radiation number is going down. We're still absorbing the same amount of radiation per tick, 
because that radiation still exists in this chunk, 59 MRADs. But the amount of radiation on the character, Direwolf 20, is going down as I eat rad away, right? And now that I've eaten it, right, more radiation is happening. So let's install radiation shielding in our armor and see how that goes. So let's get, um, I want obviously the best we can get, the best of the best. We want nothing less. So let's uh, get you ready to autocraft. Now you're gonna need some beryllium ingots, medium radiation shielding and DU plating. So let's teach you this and let's teach you that. And we will figure out what we don't know how to make. Now I don't know if we know how to make beryllium, but we have a lot of it. So let's just go throw some down there. Uh, and if we need to auto craft this at some point, we can add it to the auto crafter. But for now, we're going to add it to the elite smelting factory and have a good old time. So that it's just ready for when we need it, right? And you'll notice that my character's radiation is barely moving, right? Because, yay. Now with that ready, right, let's do heavy radiation shielding. If I want four of those, what I'm missing is bioplastic. That's about it. Now I know we're going to need the bioplastic. Um, and luckily that's easy enough to make. We need this for the rat away. So let's do that. And in the manufactory. And now we should be able to have heavy radiation shielding times four. Start. Beautiful. That's pretty cool. Okay, now that those radiation shieldings are good, let's insert them into our armor and this will protect us, right? So for every armor piece we're wearing now, we are going to have a rad resistance of one. So that means that if I'm absorb if I if I would have absorbed, let's say five rads, minus one is four rads, minus one is three rads, right? Minus three is two rads and minus four is one rad. Now in fairness, right, I'm not absorbing any rads in this environment because um, at this point, my nuclear area, I should be pretty safe. See, because I'm not absorbing one rad, I'm, I'm absorbing 62 micro rads and I'm assuming it's a thousand micro rads equals one rad. So there's a lot more uh, radiation that we can put in this chunk before it'll actually start affecting me because I'm now wearing this armor. So long story short, uh, if you're gonna be working with radiation, make some shielding. Small, simple shielding is, is cheap, right? Medium shielding, more expensive. Heavy shielding, a little bit more expensive, but considering all the automation that we recently did with nuclear craft, it wasn't that bad. Uh, and now your character is not absorbing radiation, which is good. And I'll just eat away the few rads that I'd have absorbed from that, right? Um, so we are slowly but surely absorbing radiation still, right? It's still happening. It's just reducing it. So I thought I would get none, but I'm not. So that's interesting. I'm still getting some. It's just it's just reducing how much we get. So at this point, would it be a good idea to set up a radiation scrubber way up here in the chunk? Maybe. Let's get an angel block. Sounds like a good time, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna set up here uh, in this chunk area is the following. Um, yeah, I like that idea. So let's do, actually let's stick it in the corner. So this is about how I like to do my stuff. Let's do building gadget over to here. So extend the building gadget columns. And that should be cool. And then I want a gap of three spaces, right? And I don't think I need any more than that. Actually, no, I did. Yeah, I want a four by four up here like this with three spaces in between each block. I think that's what I determined to be the ideal setup, right? So a three by three 
Mob spawn out here. I forgot about that. I did nothing to prevent mob spawns. I should take a nap. As I'm looking down and seeing all these spiders, it's like, oh right, mobs. Cool. So what we're going to do is mess with our radiation scrubbers next. But maybe that's a story for another episode because we are very close to wrapping up point here. So how about we do this? Um, so if we F3G this, we'll see that, you know, this isn't perfectly centered in the chunk, but because the chunk is an even number of blocks, I don't think you can easily center it perfectly, right? Um, if we did one, two, like, I don't know, it might... Yeah, because then you're one block away from the edge. If I move this to the left too, you're two blocks away from the edge. So no... No centering. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up radiation scrubbers in the chunk. If my memory serves correctly from last time we played, I think it's around 15-ish radiation scrubbers you need to completely eliminate radiation from the chunk entirely. We'll find out if that's true next episode, because I remember this taking a little bit. So for now, Donald 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time uh, to clean up radiation a little bit in here. And now we're also, by the way, producing LEU-233, which we should probably set up down in here um, to, 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 to clean up, right? So let's do 233, your depleted 233 fuel. We will put, you know, one in here. Let's just do one. See how much radiation I'm absorbing? Because I'm holding that, by the way. Look at my radiation. 259. So, like, holding that depleted, very bad. Right? Bad to hold that. Don't hold Don't hold on to radiation in your inventory all that long. Right? Um, but let me snag this so I can add you to this. Right? The depleted fuel now goes in there. And you, sir, should start taking depleted LU-235 and making the plutonium that we need which we'll let that run uh, a little bit between episodes. For now, Delta Point sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.